Great Britain is gearing up for the coronation of the king this weekend. Yesterday, King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla attended a garden party at Buckingham Palace in celebration of the upcoming event this Saturday. Lionel Richie was there, who will be performing this weekend. And joining me now is Dr. Peter Abbott, who is the British Consul General in New England. Peter, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us on such a busy week. Of course, it's great to be here, Paula. This is very exciting. Yeah. And uh, you took over your role in 2020, mm -hmm. we know. So you've been That's here in right. Boston yeah. a few years. Mm -hmm. And you've been a member of the diplomatic service since 2005. Feels like a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in your mind, uh, what is the most exciting historic part of Saturday's coronation to look forward to? Well, there is so much history in the coronation, it's hard to know where to start. Um, I mean, I think we'll start at Westminster Abbey, which mm. is the, the location for the coronation. Westminster Abbey has been crowning monarchs uh, for nearly a thousand years, since 1066. Uh, King Charles will be the 40th monarch uh, crowned in Westminster Abbey. So it's just an extraordinary venue, uh, witness to so much of our national life uh, over a thousand years. Yeah, just incredible when you think in those numbers. Sometimes I think it's yeah. hard for Americans you know, right. to look back and uh, things here in the 1700s seem old to us, but a thousand years is astounding. Looking here at images of the preparations in London, I know there have been so many rehearsals uh -huh. overnight. The numbers are enormous. The monarchy is very important to the whole cultural focus of British life, isn't it? It is. It's absolutely at the centre of everything we, we do. Even though nowadays in 2023, I think, you know, some people will question the value of, of the monarchy, but I think you look at the polls, overwhelming support um, across the generations mm -hmm. for the monarchy, for, for King Charles. And I think we see in it a very important reflection of our national identity, and it brings us together on days like this um, and reminds us that we, we have this kind of common common heritage and common history mm. that we share with you guys as right. well. Right, that's right. We are inextricably linked, <laughs> exactly. whether you guys like it or not. Yeah. <laughs> but it is so interesting that it is unique that the monarch is the head of state and the head of the Church of England. Mm -hmm. Talk mm -hmm. about how those are integrated in this ceremony that people will be getting up early Saturday morning to watch. Well, the, uh, the British royal family is one of the only families, royal families in Europe that still use what is called regalia. Mm. Uh, and those are the sort of the, 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 the physical images of, of royalty. So during the coronation, the king will hold something called the, the, the orb. And this is a golden ball that is surmounted by a cross. Uh, and that indicates that the king needs to remember that his authority comes from God, uh, not, from, not from man. And there are various other images. He'll be anointed with a, with a special oil uh, that comes from the Mount of Olives uh, in Jerusalem, uh, and lots of things that connect the, 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 the earthly role that he has as monarch with his uh, the, the, the sort of divine duties that he also has as head of the church. Right. And this is all integrated with the Constitution? Uh, it is. We, d we don't have a Constitution in the same way as, as the United States does. Ours is not a, is not a written Constitution. Mm -hmm. It's a body of, of precedents and laws that have grown up over time. But uh, yes, it's absolutely uh, an integral part of, our, of right. our cultural life. And I know from Queen Elizabeth's coronation back in 1952. There is a sacred moment during the mm -hmm. ceremony mm -hmm. where it is the moment when uh, it is thought that God is there you know, with the monarch and they would not televise that at her coronation. Will that be televised on Saturday? We'll have to wait and see. Mm. I don't know, but uh, it's certainly true. You're right. In 1953, a screen was erected around the Queen and around the Archbishop of Canterbury while he was anointing her. And I, I, I understand that is what the plan is for Saturday. We'll have mm. to wait and see. Interesting. And, you know, we also uh, don't often think about all of the Commonwealth countries around the globe. And First Lady Jill Biden mm -hmm. is leaving this afternoon mm -hmm. uh, to be in London for the ceremony. How important is it? Uh, so many Commonwealth Company, countries recently have decided to mm. become independent mm. uh, for King Charles to keep those Commonwealth countries in the fold. Well, I think you'll want very much to keep them in the fold, and they, they have a long, long history with the United Kingdom. Not always, not always good, but a long history nevertheless. Yeah. And their membership of the Commonwealth, we think, is is a really important part of their identity and our identity. And so, you know, obviously, it's for them to decide whether they want to uh, become independent. But we hope that they will stay within the Commonwealth. And it's really interesting for King Charles. Charles, uh, I know that sustainability is very important to him. Uh, he has, was an early um, 
advocate for environmentalism mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. climate change. It's mm -hmm. very interesting. How is he uh, integrating some of his ideas into the ceremony itself? Well, I mentioned the oil that he's going to be anointed with, and that's a, that's a, a centuries-old recipe. Mm. Um, but in fact, he's uh, amended that recipe very slightly, and he's taken out of it uh, something called ambergris, which comes from the intestines of whales. Mm. Um, and that used to be an, uh, an ingredient in that oil, and the king has asked for that to be removed uh, this time, as well as some other ingredients that also are derived from animals. So mm -hmm. trying to make it a little bit more sustainable in that respect, uh, he's also recycling a lot of uh, clothing, articles of clothing. I think he's wearing his, uh, his grandfather's robes. Uh, other elements of the, uh, of the coronation are going to be uh, recycled or upcycled. I'm not quite sure what it is, but uh, it absolutely indicates his, his passion uh, for sustainability. Right, very interesting. And it's interesting for uh, British people who live here or anyone who wants to participate in celebrating the coronation, there is a ceremony at the Old North Church on Sunday. There is. There is a, a service at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning at Old North Church, uh, and I will be there. Uh, lots of other members of the British community will be there, and I hope that your listeners will feel able to come as well. It's open to everyone. You just have to register on their website. What time does it take place? It's at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock Sunday morning. Well, you know, we always talk about our special relationship between the United States and the United Kingdom, and this will be a big moment and uh, we hope it all goes well and I know so many people will be watching Great. on Saturday. Peter Abbott, Consul General for the United Kingdom in New England. Thank you so much. Thank you, Paula.